In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to conduct a one-way between subjects ANOVA on ranks, which is an alternative to the Kruskal-Wallis analysis that people typically employ when they have ordinal dependent variables and nominally scored independent variables or testing the difference between groups on a ordinal type measure. Now the example data set is the rated liking vegetable item that children responded to on a three-point scale. And all that has to be done to conduct this analysis is convert the dependent variable to ranks and then conduct a regular one-way between subjects ANOVA as if the data were just regular dependent variable data. So to convert the data, go into Transform, Rank Cases, and place the rated liking variable into this variables box. And just note that by default, SPSS is going to assign a rank of 1 to the smallest value. So in this case, a smaller ranking will be accorded to a value that suggests that the child doesn't like the vegetables because it went from yucky, just okay, to yummy. And that was a rating 1, 2, 3. And so the ranks are going to be accorded in that way because it's going from smallest value to largest value. So click on OK. And SPSS gives you this information to tell you that the analysis was done correctly. And here are the ranks with three decimal places, which is not really informative. SPSS by default calls the variable R rated L, so it has a limited size in, t in terms of the variable. So you might change that to R rated liking or rated liking rank. And here's rank, rank of rated liking variable that's labeled that's de the default in SPSS, and it seems fine. So here are the ranking values. So everyone, all the children who scored one on veggies, which is yucky, got a ranking of 29. That's because there were so many ties of ones that they ended up with an adjusted ranking variable so that they got 29. Those that had a rated liking variable, a score of 2, got a ranking of 103. And that's just true for everyone. And then that those with a rating of 3 got a ranking of 286. And so with this ranking variable, you can now conduct the one-way between subjects ANOVA. I recommend that you do it through general linear model so that you can get the effect size estimate calculated for you. So rated liking, actually we're going to have the ranking. So the ranking variable goes into the dependent variable, group goes into fixed factor, and click on options and get estimates of effect size. And you could get homogeneity of tests if you like. And click continue and click on OK. And here is the, the analysis that actually suggests that the homogeneity of variance assumption has been violated because the Levine's test on rank data is actually statistically significant, which suggests that there might be a problem in the analysis in terms of interpreting the p-value. Now here is the test of between subjects effects. And I have the group variable here. And the f-value is 19.692. And the p-value is less than 0.001. And you can see the partial eta squared is equal to 0.124, which is essentially identical to the eta squared estimate that was reported from the kruskal wallis analysis, where the chi-square value was divided by n minus 1. Now, SPSS by default calls this partial eta squared, when really it's eta squared when you only have one independent variable in the analysis, and that's a between subjects factor. So this is eta squared, not partial eta squared. Just by default, SPSS calls anything in this table partial eta squared in the right column. So the null hypothesis has been rejected, but I'm a bit concerned about the Levine's test of equality of variance. And you could do another analysis to see whether on the other approach of doing Levine's through the explore utility, rated liking, group into factor list, and then plots and normality plots, and I want the data to be untransformed. Click on Continue. This is me doing the non-parametric Levine's test to see if this test corroborates the analysis, and it does. So this is the non-parametric homogeneity of variance test based on median and adjusted DF, and that is statistically significant as well. So again, the assumption of homogeneity of variance in the rankings has been violated, which we use, just like in the Man Whitney U, as an indirect test of the homogeneity of distributions across groups. We actually can't trust the p-value in this analysis, but I did do it for educational purposes. You would do it otherwise the same way. So the p-value was statistically significant here, p less than 0 0.05. 
So I can't completely trust the p-value, but there is an alternative analysis, and that would be to do something like a game's Howell procedure that does not assume homogeneity of variance and using bootstrapping as the estimation technique, and I'll do that in a separate video.